Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and I have to honestly admit that uh, 2018 was uh, pretty, pretty good in terms of the iron planes for me. For me. Because if not counting the disappointing nano talon, everything else I've built that was flying in 2018 using the wings to generate lift was really like, yeah, I liked it. I had pretty nice S800. I got uh, the flux, which I reviewed like few years, days, days ago. But I also got me something like bigger, right wing mini drag. This is review slash not really a review of the right wing, right wing, not right, but right wing mini drag. Why a review? Review because I will give my opinion. An opinion not solely on the f on the, the fuselage and the wing, but wings, but also of how I've built it, how I'm flying it, what I feel about it, what I like about it, and what I not really like about the right wing mini drag. But also not really a review because I will not be reviewing only the the foam. I. I don't want to make a video how I build it, a build video, this is bad, this is good, no, no. Let's just say, I will just be showing you some footage from the DVR and also from the HD camera in the nose of my mini drag, show you some pictures and uh, say some words. You like it? Cool. You did not like it? What can I say? So, um, right wing mini drag. Why I got it? I got it because of uh, Nanotalon. Nanotalon was, um, like I said, a um, disappointment. So I started looking for something, something that I know that's gonna fly better, has more payload than the SA-100, is slightly bigger and more stable. After looking at this and that and consulting an awesome guy from France uh, called Olivier C. Thanks. Thanks for the tips and I really appreciate how much you helped me with putting my mini drag uh, into the air by helping to get the right components. I decided that yeah, I'm gonna spend those 150 euros for the mini drag because the foam of the mini drag is definitely not cheap. For 150 euros you got wings, you got fuselage, you got uh, the coroplast uh, elements, motor mount and some carbon rods. Carbon? Yeah, okay, I think they are carbon and you have to assemble everything. Um, it takes... Well, it's hard to really tell, tell how much it takes because um, 10 hours in my case, it was probably more than 10 hours of actually building this airplane before I put it into the air. Uh, I, I was experimenting, uh, checking, this go here, this goes there. Good thing about mini drag number one, it really has a lot of space inside. You can put everything you want inside because you can easily put a really huge LiPo, flight controller, RX, ESC, there are separate bays for the video transmitter, for the receiver, and it still has some place left. I could really put there additional radio if I want to, Bluetooth and stuff like that. Absolutely, absolutely no problem. The thing... It's really smart design. A lot of elements are really like, yeah, I'm gonna, like for example, the detachable wings with two carbon spars uh, that are really held in place by only a small, a teeny tiny element of Velcro. When I was first throwing the mini drag into the air, I was like, oh man, though, not a chance. Those small pieces of Velcro are not gonna hold the wings. But surprise, they are holding the wings. So. It's a proof that you really don't have to have a bulky mount for the wings for everything to be held in place. I like the laminating foil, I like the uh, balsa ailerons, I like the coroplast uh, stabilization, vertical stabilizer. I like the covers, they are not perfect because, for example, I replaced one with my 3D printed design. Uh, and it looks amazing because, come on, okay, yeah, 
this airplane just looks like yeah it's like um i don't know star trek meets uh, stargate sg1 amazing negative swept wings are really like looking super 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 cool but there is not a chance to make the mini drag light i don't think it's even possible to go below one kilogram why because of this place where center of gravity is. The center of gravity should be, well, to be honest, almost in front of the leading edge of the wings. It's like more than one inch, 20 something millimeters in front of the front front spar. So if you really like put motor in the back, like a normal size motor, you really have to put a big lipo in the front. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna use the light motor and the standard 4S batteries I'm using for my mini quads. No, not, not absolutely a chance. It's balancing correctly only with two cameras in the front and 4S for amp hours battery also in the front. Okay, there's that much space between the beginning of the battery and the uh, foam in the nose because I, I'm slow, slowly moving the center of gravity further and further back, um, checking how it behaves. But on, only because of this, and I have two cameras in the nose. One is for FTPV, this is the Runcam Eagle 2, and the second one is only for HD, which is uh, the Runcam Mini, Runcam Split Mini 2. Quite a nice camera, probably there will be a separate review in a few days on this channel. So, you cannot make it really light. 100, maybe 100, uh, 1100 grams, this is uh, really like reasonable low value. But I know from the internets and the videos that you can easily go with mini drag to 2 kilograms. You can really pack it up with lipos and put a huge motor in the back and just launch it and it will go it will have probably no problems at all. What else? Mm. Now, the most important element. Of, does the fly good and uh, does it fly long? Yes and yes. Um, of course, if there is a lot of wind and gusts and uh, turbulence, there's no way to have a smooth fly. But I really, I had two, three days with relatively calm weather and oh, it's fantastic, it's amazing, it's great, really, I, I love how mini drag feels in the air. Um, you can feel that, yeah, I have the mass, I have the stability, I'm going in, it's like, yeah, and it's pretty fast. It's really, really, really pretty fast because with the Sun Sky X uh, 2216 1, 1400 kV motor and 8x6 propeller, I like cruising speed around 100 km per hour. If I open the throttle slightly more to let's say 80% then 120, 107, no, 170, I wish, um, one, um, 130 is uh, the max speed of my of my setup and even then it's only eating like 25 uh, amps of power so it's not really like power hungry a monster and if i really like pull back the throttle and decided to just cruise through the air it's like seven amps i can go to five if i'm really careful not to make tight turns not to stall it i never stalled this yet before but i never really tried but uh, okay okay so it's, it's really pretty efficient and if you cover the air intakes in the front it's like really like yeah one battery 20 minutes in the air with uh, four amp hours for us no problems at all. Of course, if you have some fun, then the, the counter will start ticking slightly, slightly faster. But uh, usually, usually I'm bored before the battery dies. I also made some tests with uh, six amp hours 3S batteries, and uh, that was boring. I really have to say this thing was boring. Um, because uh, no high speed, you just like cruising with like, oh, yeah, I'm going through the air. Uh, but then after 15 minutes of flight, I used only around two and a half amp hours. I had more than a half of the battery left. So 
half an hour in the air without absolutely any problems with still a speed of around 80 kilometers per hour. So if you want to, you can go really, really, really pretty far with it. Is there something I don't like about the Mini Drag? Mm. I like the wing mount and I don't like the wing mount. I know I like it because it's simple, it's just two pieces of velcro glued together and I don't like it because it feels so flimsy, you just pull it in, in, on the ground and it goes away. But in the air it really holds the wing, so it's like, it's, it's iffy. I think I will do, do something more like concrete to know that really the wings will not fall in the air. They will not, but I really want to know it, to be sure really about this. And um, the other thing, probably the nose. Uh, probably the nose, I really would like to see a official, I mean official, 3D printed noses for this thing. Uh, something that accommodates the standard FPV camera and the HD camera. I know, for example, I love how the, I don't remember the name of the company, but the, the wing of there, the Vorti. Vorti, I will put the links later in the description, the Vorti. It really has pretty, pretty awesome noses, 3D printed, you can put whatever you want uh, over there. There is no session yet, too bad, but probably something on a Thingiverse was already made. Okay, the Vorti is slightly bigger and heavier than the Mini Drag, but you know what I'm going with it. What else? Mm. Yeah, that's all. That's that's all I can find that I don't like about the mini drag. Um, yeah, nothing else comes to my mind. I know, 150 euros, it's not cheap. But you really get a good quality foam, you get a lot of components, you get uh, good balsa ailerons, you get the laminating film, you get more or less everything you have to have to build a mini drag. And it really flies amazing. It's great, great, great experience in the air. Stable, smooth, fast, efficient, great. So yeah, this thing is really worth those um, 150 euros. Too bad the Americans can buy it cheaper. Why everything so cheap in America? America. Anyhow, yeah, America. Let's not go that way. Mm. Love it. And it really looks amazing. Oh man, probably the best looking flying wing ever. And uh, I was not paid to say that because I really like it. I don't regret it. I really. They should do a nano drag. Nano drag with the wingspan of, let's say, 800 millimeters. <laughs> that would be really, 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 really amazing. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's all for today. I probably said everything I wanted about my mini drag, the descriptions and the links and stuff and blah 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 are in the description section of this video if you want to take a look. If not, I cannot force you after all. This also probably is the last aeroplane review in this year because I'm not planning to do any new aeroplanes this year. No, I'm planning something. I'm planning but it won't be really a review because it will be my own design that I want to like I propagate into the universe but it's still like I, I, I'm missing so much. I wish the week was like 10 days, but it isn't, so I'm missing some time. Um, more on the topic on the INAF in the upcoming weeks. Uh, some tutorials, maybe. Let's see what's gonna happen. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, and by the way, thank you, my Patreons, for... Thank you, my patrons, for being my supporters on Patreon. Thumbs up for you. I love what you, how you are helping me. Yeah, thank you very much. Until the next one. Bye-bye.